Good afternoon. We are gathered here today to celebrate the promotion <laughs> of Pematic Elementary School's Class of 2020. I am Rhonda Fortin, the principal at Pematic, and I am honored to welcome all of you. If you're having trouble hearing, please listen to AM 1370 WDEA, and your friends can listen worldwide at WDEA. Dot am. Today, we are celebrating you and all of your many achievements, but you have not arrived at this moment alone. Thank you to your family, your friends, the Pematic teachers and staff, and the Southwest Harbor community for caring about you, loving you, and guiding you along your path to who you are today. We are here to celebrate your diligence, your dedication, and your determination. Today is certainly not Pematic's traditional promotion ceremony, but if it were our traditional ceremony, we wouldn't be under this beautiful Southwest Harbor sky. Always look for the positives in difficult situations, and always look for the good in others. Take time today to focus on what you have accomplished and the memories you share as a class. As you go to high school, dream big, love deeply, have courage. Have courage to do what is right even when it's the hard thing to do. Have courage to stand up for others in need. Have courage to be yourself. I am not alone when I say how excited I am to see what the hope future holds for you. I'll end with a quote from Lily Vahir. Behind you, all your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who love you. Within you, all you need. Next. Ms. Philbrook will read your eighth grade memories. Hello, eighth graders. When the eighth graders were asked for their eighth grade, their favorite memories, this is what they responded with. Kira Crabtree said, my favorite memory was in health class, making skits with my friends. Evan Davidson, I just loved just about all my time at Pematic if I had to choose a favorite, I think it would be field day in sixth grade. It was really just tons of fun. All of my new friends from up here were all there, and it was the first time I really felt like I was part of the school, and I'll never forget that. Riley Donahue said, my favorite Pematic memory is from my eighth grade year when Henry and I finished the Pacer test in gym class. All of my classmates were cheering us on, and I couldn't have done it without their help and Henry's. This event really showed the class's friendship and connection with each other. Molly Gray said, my favorite memories were a French class. It was always fun when we walked in the French room. I don't remember a day when we didn't have a good time in class. Stephen Eisenhower, my favorite Pematic memory is when Mrs. Brown danced on the table because Ashton did really well on his work. Although we all knew she was known to do that a lot, that was the one time in our first and second grade career we ever saw it, which made it very funny. Mrs. Brown was one of the nicest teachers I've ever had, and she's also one of my favorites. Henry Lester. My favorite memory is spending time with peers in early morning French class. We were too tired to function completely, but we still had fun. Many of us ate breakfast while working, trying to better understand French. Eddie Mays. Probably my favorite memory was paintball, especially during the 8th grade versus 7th grade and how it was like 6 against 3. The bus ride home was pretty fun too. James Murphy, my favorite memory was going to Whistle Pig Farm. Meredith Musson said, I really loved being able to grow up with my classmates and become really close with some of them. All the inside jokes, songs, and stories are things I will remember forever. Isabel Peterson said her favorite memory 
is always forgetting to return books to the majority of my teachers. I think I may still have a few. Sorry. Chris Sullivan said his favorite memory was the pace trips. Afton Thomas's favorite memory is paintballing in seventh grade. Olin Rumler said Mrs. Brown is no longer a Pematic, but she was one of the best teachers I've ever had. At the beginning of the year, she said that she would dance on the table if something really amazing happened. Then for the rest of the year, everyone tried and was hoping for that day to come. One day, Ashton did something so great, I can't even remember, that she jumped up on the table and started to dance. Best day ever. Denali Wagstaff. The whitewater rafting trip in seventh grade is my favorite memory. We had a lot of fun and connected with each other through that, giving us a sense of independence, taking care of ourselves, and having an awesome time with friends. Bezef, I believe that the Thanksgiving dinner or lunch that we do is both a nice gesture and an entertaining experience for all grades. There. Welcome to the 8th grade promotion. Once again, we found ourselves in a strange situation. Last year, poor Miss Densey was supposed to be our guest speaker, but she was unable to do it due to an ankle injury. Now, we have COVID-19. That is interfering with our promotion plans. We decided that like last year, we would ask the teachers and staff at Pematic to take the time to write down a life lesson or words to live by to send you off as you make your way into high school. We have also put a copy in your basket for you to have and revisit whenever you need words of encouragement over the years. Embrace uncomfortable chaos. Let it unravel both grit and innovation. Look closer at the life you are living. Be open to see experiences as opportunities. Never give up on something that really matters to you. And surround yourself with people who want the best for you. Love, Mrs. Null. Be yourself. Be your best self, Mrs. S. Take what you have learned, go forward, keep figuring out who you really are and what makes you happy. Not someone else, not your family members, teachers, best friends, or anyone else. You. Set your own goals, reach for the stars. It's okay if they all don't work out. Sometimes it is the journey along the way that ends up being more important. Your journey here at Pematic is over. Cherish the memories you have made. Move forward, make new ones, and always reach for the stars. Love, Mrs. Schroeder. You may not end up where you thought you were going, but you will always end up where you were meant to be. Unknown. Love, Miss Amanda. Courage does not always roar. Sometimes it is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Mary Ann Rudmarker. Nothing is impossible. If you can't do it today, you always could try tomorrow. Don't give up. Be yourself and have fun in high school. Mrs. Sylvia. If you are angry with a friend or a boss and breathing isn't cutting it, take a large drink of water, hold it in your mouth until you are out of their presence. Then you don't say anything that you will regret and can't take back. Miss Kathy. Life is like a choose your own adventure book. The road of your life will branch off in many different directions. Watch for those branches, for they lead to adventures. Pay close attention. Take time to think before you decide. Then give the new adventure everything you've got. And it too will provide more exciting branches. Mrs. Raven. The power is in the holder of the pen, Amish Brewer, Hamish Brewer, sorry. You get to write your own story. How will it go? Don't be afraid to do hard things. That's what brings you the biggest reward and turns you into the person you are meant to become. I believe in you, Mrs. Paulson. Go placidly amid the noise and haste, and as far as possible, be on good terms with all persons. Be yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. Therefore, whatever your aspirations, keep peace in your soul. 
With all its drudgery and broken dreams, it's still a beautiful world. Excerpt from the poem Desiderata by Max Ehrman. Best wishes to you all, Mrs. Peterson. Remember, people will forget what you said and people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you have made them feel. Maya Angelou, Mrs. Nolan. Everyone wonders about why they are here and what their purpose is. If you haven't already figured that out, I am certain that, it is, that as you make your way through high school, you will begin to discover it. But always remember that you will get the most out of life when you give. No matter what your future holds, make sure it includes giving. You are an incredible group of kids, and I love each and every one of you. Good luck. Mr. Newman. It is when we are faced with challenges that we learn the most about ourselves. Don't let the valleys of life get you down. Stay positive and keep your eye on the prize. This too shall pass. Set goals and crush them. Be kind. Stay humble. I enjoyed seeing all your smiling faces walking through the halls of Pemetip. Keep your spirits high and you will never fall. Miss Alyssa. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. By C.S. Lewis. Believe in yourself. Have a good summer and stay well and safe. Miss Holloway. Trying something you try something you haven't tried before and eat your veggies, Miss Jeannie. We started this journey together. My first year at Pemetic was also your first year. It's been such a joy to watch you grow and learn. I will miss you. Go out there and make a difference. And don't forget, spread kindness like confetti. Love, Miss Dency. We keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we are curious and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. Walt Disney. Thank you for making me feel comfortable in my first year at Pemetic, Mrs. McCurdy. Be kind with others. Be patient. Be compassionate. People will always remember you for how you made them feel. Mr. Mishu. When you get in high school, get involved. MBI High offers tons of sports, drama, and music opportunities. It is a great way to make new friends. Mr. S. My quote is from A.A. Milne, who wrote, You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Always believe and trust in yourself, and when life throws you a curveball, just know that you will learn something from that as well. Take care of yourselves and know that I will miss each of you. When all else fails, remember, kindness matters. Love, Mrs. Todd. When all seems lost, there, is, there seems like there is nothing you can do to fix the situation, remember the words of your technology integrator. Try restarting it, and I bet it will fix the problem. Mr. B. Hope is being able to see that there is a light despite all the darkness. Desmond Tutu. My hope for all of you is that you take what you have learned about yourselves this year and be the amazing people I know you to be. Mrs. Fortin. You are a class of amazing individuals, each with special talents, skills, and personalities. Be your best selves. You deserve and owe it to yourself. Mrs. Bean Ingram. It is important to speak your mind, but remember to be a good listener too. The world needs more listeners. You are an amazing class with so much talent. I can't wait to hear about where life takes you. Stay true to you, Mrs. Reed. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, but it's important to learn from them. It is during our struggles and challenges when we learn the most. Work hard. Be kind and stand up for what is right, even if you're the only one standing. I wish you the very best as you continue to create your own story and make a difference in our world. Congratulations, 8th graders. I am proud of you. I will miss you. Love, Mrs. Norwood. Two of my favorite sayings are, everything happens for a reason. You may not be able to figure it out at that moment, but trust that it will be okay. And... When one door closes, another one opens, or just use the window. Promise me that you will always use each event in your life as a learning experience and make the most of it, whether it be good or bad. 
Never give up and never give in. I will miss you terribly. Love, Mrs. Clark. Invite people into your life that you depend on, who make you laugh, who support you, and want you to do well. If you surround yourself with people who do these things, then you will find happiness. Love, Miss Philbrook. And our final words of wisdom to all of you come from Mr. and Mrs. Sattler. Read every day. Take a moment to pause and reflect each day. Always give your best to the task at hand. Practice good craft, Mr. Sattler. There's a saying on a t-shirt that, that our son likes to wear that says, live generously. Just two words, but I think they say a lot. Be generous with sharing your love with family and friends. Be generous helping people you don't even know. Be generous with yourself, getting the most out of new experiences. Live generously. Keep those two words close to your heart and you'll help make the world around you a more beautiful place. Love and best wishes, Mrs. Sattler. Now, we will have the presentation of the certificates. When I call your name, please come forward, pick up your basket from the table, and um, head over that way to Miss Dency to have your picture taken. First up, Kira A. Crabtree. Kira, your peers and teachers recognize you for your enthusiasm, your kindness towards others, and for bringing tons of positive energy when you enter a room. Isabel Madeline Peterson. Yeah. Isabel, your peers and teachers recognize you for your beautiful singing and acting, your smile and kindness toward others, and for inspiring us with your love of reading and art. <laughs> Evan J. Davidson. Woohoo! Right, Evan! Evan, your peers and teachers recognize you for your bold ideas and notions, your intelligence, and for always being fun to be around. <laughs> Riley D. Donahue. Yay, Riley! <laughs> Riley, your peers and teachers recognize you for being an incredibly hard worker, a truly kind person, and for your willingness to help and support others. Congratulations. <laughs> Riley is also the recipient of this year's Principals Award. Riley, <laughs> Riley is receiving this award for his high academic achievement, excellent habits of work, and for being a positive member of the Pematic community. Michael J. Gibson. 
Michael, your peers and teachers recognize you for being a dedicated athlete, for sticking up for others, and for making us laugh. Molly M. Gray. Molly, your peers and teachers recognize you for your athleticism, your strength and determination, and for not being afraid to speak your mind. <laughs> Stephen T. Eisenhower. <laughs> Stephen, your peers and teachers recognize you for being a great performer, having a great sense of humor, and for inspiring us to think outside of the box. <laughs> Henry C. Lester. Henry, your peers and teachers recognize you for being an amazing athlete, for your sense of humor, and for using your humor and positive attitude to keep your peers and teachers upbeat. Congratulations. Matthew B. Levesque. Matthew, your peers and teachers recognize you for your dedication to both school and sports, your slightly sarcastic grin, and for being a great teammate. Eddie Mays. Eddie, your peers and teachers recognize you for your dedication to whatever you do, for putting others first, and for your kindness that fills the room. Congratulations. James Murphy. James, your peers and teachers recognize you for being willing to help us with tech issues, your love and knowledge of cars and music, and for always having a great story to share. <laughs> Meredith M. Musson. Meredith, your peers and te teachers recognize you for your stage presence and talents, for making us laugh, and for your passion and energy for life. Congratulations. <laughs> Olin S. Rumler. <laughs> Olin, your peers and teachers recognize you for your intelligence, your impressive athleticism, and your infectious energy and humor. Congratulations. Christopher Sullivan. Chris, your peers and teachers recognize you for your quiet sense of humor, for making even the most outlandish notions seem possible, and for your endless supply of random videos that really make us think. Yeah. Congratulations. Good job, Chris. Ashton J. Thomas. Yeah. 
Ashton, your peers and teachers recognize you for getting us wildly off topic in class. <laughs> your passion for and knowledge of hunting and fishing and for making us laugh with your stories. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. Denali Reese Wagstaff. Denali, your peers and teachers recognize you for your great work ethic, your numerous talents, and your energy that makes others around you happy. Denali, Denali is also the recipient of this year's American Legion Award. Denali has received this award for demonstrating high qualities of courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service. Congratulations. Beza. Bay, your peers and teachers recognize you for your sophisticated sense of humor, your artistry, and for being the wild card, we never know what we're going to get. As Bay gets his picture taken, we just wanted all of you to know that we did order a class banner weeks ago and it hasn't arrived yet. So once that arrives, we'll put it out in front of the school for everyone to see. Class of 2020, Pematic Peregrines, take wing and soar to new heights. It is with pride, honor, and joy I present to you Pematic Elementary School's Class of 2020. That concludes our ceremony today. Thank you all for coming. And please exit in the reverse order that you came in and parked. So last one in is first one out. Thank you all.